Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. I am going to start off this vlog by letting you guys know who the winners are of my giveaway. Their names are going to be here on the screen. They have been contacted, they have claimed their prizes and they are posted. So big congratulations to the ladies who won um, and big thank you to everyone who entered big thank you to everyone who has subscribed recently hopefully you like my content and you want to stick around if not i get it it's it's a fickle little world this youtube place um but that's okay uh thank you thank you thank you thank you um for anyone who is disappointed that they didn't win i'm sorry there can only be two winners it's just it's the way things go unfortunately I'm not made of money so I can't give everyone something um, <laughs> but there will be more giveaways coming uh, at Christmas and I don't know maybe maybe in between then I don't know yet I just I don't know um, but actually I do know of a giveaway that is coming up very soon uh, Beauty News, we're doing our 1k giveaway on Beauty News, so if you are not subscribed to Beauty News, you probably should be if you want to enter that. Hi guys, so it is Thursday, nearly half past, <clears throat> oh, what was that, getting old, nearly half past 12. Um, this whole vlog is going to consist of just today. If my makeup looks like it's not matching my skin, that's because... It doesn't. Um, I filmed a first impressions of some W7 makeup and um, it's quite difficult to actually find products on the shelves so uh, I just used what I, I could. It is what it is. Um, so this week has been, I don't know, a bit, a bit boring, a bit, yeah, boring, boring. Um, I haven't vlogged because I'm kind of like I'm in the sort of middle period of like the anniversary of my dad's death and his birthday I've also got my grandmother coming back to Melbourne today um, and I've just been trying to like do work I suppose um, which means I've just been at home doing work um, and yeah, there's not really anything exciting to talk about, so I thought I would just sort of vlog what I'm doing today, which is work. So right now I am just having a little rest, a resty rest after filming. Filming always drains me just a little bit. Um, and I feel like doing makeup in front of a camera, it's, it's really, it's actually quite, it's hard. It's it's not fun um, but I really wanted to film that video so I've done it I'm very glad I just hope that the footage is good um, I am just watching a little video on YouTube and then I'm gonna go hang out some washing and make some lunch since I am reaching for content to put in this vlog I thought I would show you what I'm making for lunch uh, I have little baby sweet capsicums. I've just hollowed them out and um, given them a wash. And I'm going to put them in the oven, roast them, and then I'm going to stuff them with goat's cheese. Delicious. Lunch is served. Clearly, somebody should call Master Chef. <sighs> okay, so. <clears throat> I've just finished my lunch and I was watching YouTube videos while I was eating. Somehow I got onto my horrible Mac experience videos. I fucking hate those videos. They just infuriate me. Like, I know anyone who's shopped at Mac knows that you will either have the best shopping experience of your life at Mac or the worst. There's no in between. Um, <clears throat> I have had a bad Mac experience as well. Um, and the second time it happened to me, like I went in and um, a sales assistant was rude to me, I was like, well, I'm not taking this shit because every time I come here I spend hundreds of dollars. And I literally said to the girl, like she'd gathered some of my stuff and she's like giving me full on attitude. I was like, 
you know what? I don't want you to serve me because you're a bitch. And then I just went up to the counter and got one of the other girls to serve me. And I kind of, like, that's it. That's it. That's all I did. I really hate it when people, like, publish these videos where they're like, Today I went into Mac and the girl was a bitch. And yesterday I went into Mac and the same girl was a bitch. And the week before that I went into Mac and that same girl was still a bitch. Like, why don't you fucking tell them they're being a bitch? Get someone else to serve you. Like, if you're spending the money, like, you don't have to take their shit. Why is there glitter on my screen? You can tell I've been playing with glitter. Um, anyway, that... Oh, that fucking Mac video pissed me off. I'm just like, fucking, oh, God. Don't, don't let the Mac girls treat you like a fucking doormat, all right? You're allowed to say, if someone's being a bitch, you're allowed to say, you're being a bitch and I don't want you to serve me. Thanks. Or go to another store. Like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. They pissed me off. Speaking of glitter. Here we go. So, I don't know if you'll actually be able to see. Not really. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop show, showing you my nails that you won't be able to see. Um, my nails are... I'll show you this hand because it's a bit different. My nails are gel polish um, with a zero... Wait, 0 0.004 micron holographic glitter. Um, over a cream base and they're very pretty I really like them this one is a chrome powder over like a sort of tealish standard nail polish with gel top coat um, doesn't work so well over standard nail polish but I'll get on to that in a, a minute this hand um, same stuff over red polish and a 0 0.004 micron green holographic glitter over red on my ring finger. Um, so these are some of the pigments that I ordered and they're not they're not true pigments they are like I said a very fine glitter. Um, so I've been playing around with this gel polish um, like chrome nail thing and I really wanted to make a video on it and I still might but I need to do more testing um, I went and bought a oh god get ready to laugh at me I went and brought a uh, no wipe gel top coat now it took me a long time to track this down but I got it and I did my nails and I it worked. It worked beautifully. The chrome was gorgeous. I was like, oh my god, yay. Um, and then I decided to take it off because I, um, I wanted to play with more pigments and see like how they work and all that stuff. And it turned out that the gel, <laughs> it turned out that the gel top coat I had used was like it was for sculpting gel and if you don't know the difference between sculpting gel and like gel polish um, basically gel polish is soak off and sculpting gel isn't sculpting gel doesn't really respond to solvents which means you have to file it off your nail and typically um, you would <laughs> You would use like a um, a drill. Uh, I don't know if you've ever had your nails done, like acrylics or sculpting gel. Um, they they sometimes use a like a little drill, kind of it, it's kind of like a Dremel um, to get the the majority of the um, the gel off your nails. So I realized too late and because I did my nail declutter recently the only nail file I had was my glass nail file so I used that <laughs> I used that it took me hours literally hours to get it off um, and I was so paranoid about damaging my natural nails because 
like my nails take a long time to grow they're really thin um like they can't if they get damaged it's something i'm stuck with for months and months and months so i was trying to like you know trying to be careful anyway i finally got them off totally destroyed the glass file like totally because glass files are not made for removing um, sculpting gel. Now, in my defense, I did not realize that this nail polish that I purchased, and it's, it's in a nail polish bottle, it says um, gel top coat on it. So, like, because I have never seen a sculpting gel product in a bottle like that, and this isn't sculpting gel, it's actually a top coat, a glossy top coat for sculpting gel. Or even acrylics um, since I'd never seen anything like it I just assumed it was a soak off <laughs> it was not a soak off seriously after about half an hour of having my hands like submerged in well they weren't I had little cotton balls with acetone sitting on my nails after about half an hour and I'm like this is not even it's not even budging like it's nothing's changed they look exactly like they did when I put the fucking nail polish on, I was like, something's wrong. <laughs> Something is very, very wrong. <sighs> and then I read the bottle and I was like, I am a fucking idiot. So, um, yes, that's, that's a thing. Um, another thing with the sculpting gel is you can't put it in LED lamps. Now, I knew this I know that like sculpting gel products um, should not be used under LED because it gets really really hot um, should only be used under UV lamps well I should have known and I'm just such a fucking idiot I put this fucking sculpting gel on and like I put it in to cure and I'm like ow Ow. Ow. Like, this is burning. It felt like it was burning my fingernails. Um, but it kind of, it happened so quickly and then it subsided really quickly. I was like, ah, oh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just the brand. I don't fucking know. Um, it's not the brand. I'm just a fucking idiot and didn't read the bottle properly. So bad really really so bad but I have success these are very pretty um, I might even I think I will soak these off tonight all of them and do like a proper full set um, because I've got I'm going out tomorrow night and then I don't know what's happening over the weekend I'll probably just be fucking hungover all right there they are so we've got the hollow on all the nails and the chrome on the accent nail. Very pretty. And here come the birds. <laughs> and now he's going to attack my foot. Hi Jeff. Quick, inside. Hello guys, so I've just had dinner, tacos, probably got tacos in my teeth, sorry if I do. Um, so of course the, the week where I decide to do a one day vlog, something really fucking annoying and exciting is going to happen. Um, my birds got out this evening and they have climbed into a neighbour's tree and we can't get them out because they're being fucking pricks. The tree is hanging over a carport and I was going to get up on the carport. Usually to get the birds out of a tree, we would just shake the tree. They would fly out, we would pick them up, we'd come inside, all done. Easy. <clears throat> the hardest part is working out what tree they're in. So anyway, we know where they are. Um, but they would not fly out of the tree, 
when I shook it. They were just holding on for dear life. Um, and I was going to climb up on the carport, but it's like corrugated tin that's supported by two 4x2 two planks. And I don't trust it. Like, the carport has been there way too long for it to be trustworthy. And it wasn't built well in the first place. I didn't want to get on it. I was like, this is dangerous. Like, am I seriously going to risk breaking a bone just to get these stupid fucking asshole birds out of this tree? Let them stay there. Um, so the birds are sleeping outside tonight. And it's not good. It's definitely not safe. Sorry, that lettuce just looked way too good to pass up. Um, it's not safe for them to be out there. They've just had their wings clipped. They can't fly. Um, people in this area do let their cats roam, but there's nothing we can do. We can't, we can't get them. It's not safe to get them, um, and they won't come to us. So... Right now, if if those birds were my kids, I would spank their ass. I would dead set spank their fucking ass. Unfortunately, you can't spank rainbow, lor rainbow lorikeets. It's not enough of them to spank. Um, yeah, so I'm really angry at the birds right now because they like they have no fucking idea. They don't know how dangerous it is. They're fucking. They fucking, they live like kings. Like, that. fucking stupid. I don't know. You can't really call someone stupid who, like, well, you can't call the bird, or I can't call the bird stupid um, when they don't know any better. So, um, yeah, that's what's happening at the moment. I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I might take off this hand and take off oh I, I'm so bad um, I peeled off part of my pinky and I'm gonna take that off as well and I'm gonna redo those nails um, and I'm just watching Olympics coverage because I like Olympics our swimmers are doing well um, I like the swimming I like gymnastics I love the diving. Diving is my favourite. Um, I feel like there's something else that I like. Oh, I used to like the weightlifting and then I saw someone get injured when I was younger. Oh, I didn't like the weightlifting after that, but the weightlifting is kind of cool. Alright guys, so I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to... I don't even know. I'm going to edit this vlog and... I don't know, upload it tonight or tomorrow so it's ready for Saturday. Um, and I'll probably go eat some ice cream because I feel like ice cream. Bye guys. They're home and they're fucking grounded.